we're going to look at your outside leg hang today. I have noticed that a lot of pullers oftentimes will start moving on to more advanced tricks, but they're still not comfortable on their outside leg hang. Your outside leg hang should be a place where you can just hang out and breathe. When you're working on a combo or transition, it's one of those pauses where you can breathe and enjoy the moment and let your audience enjoy the lines. But a lot of people are rushing through it because they don't feel secure in it. Um, big reason I find why people are not secure in it is that their hips are not in the right place. Okay? When you go to your outside leg hang, you want to think about trying to have your hips pointing straight up towards the ceiling as much as possible. I find a lot of people are turning in towards the pole. Sometimes that can have to do with tight glutes, tight IT band, um, your abductors being very tight, um, which you can definitely stretch those. But let's look at the alignment just from the floor initially, okay? So if I lay it down and push up into a hip bridge, so my hips are even, I want the pole to be just above me, my hip and below my ribs, that little squishy part right in there where there aren't bones so much. I'm gonna take my outside leg across without tilting my hips and then hook toes towards the ground. Okay, once I'm here, that leg is pulling it right into that squishy spot. Now I can open this leg and it's grabbing my skin and holding me. My hips are still relatively open. If I let this hip drop and let my belly button turn towards the pole, I start to slide. And then I don't have a very good grip. Now I have no grip, okay? This is a good way to find the positioning on the floor so you know what it feels like because it's much easier to find it down here than when you're up high. Okay, so bring your hips up as high as you can. Keep the hip bones square. Outside leg comes across, toes pointing towards the ground. And if you feel that hook right there in your hip, release that leg. And it's right above the hip, okay? And you should feel this. Okay, so now let's take it up. When you go to invert too, to your outside leg hang, don't think about inverting to an outside leg hang. Think about inverting and then an outside leg hang. So I find what a lot of people do is they only invert halfway and then they're trying to hook their leg. So instead, think about bringing your hips all the way to the pole and then hooking your leg, okay? So what I mean by that is hips all the way up, then hook the leg, put it right in that little squishy spot and then extend and reach out your chest. So instead of my chest collapsing, I wanna push. Okay, so when I get into my outside leg hang, I should end up with my butt on one side and my chest on the other, and think about swimming your arms back. When you swim it back, you're gonna feel a grip here. A lot of people when they go to the outside leg hang when they don't feel comfortable with it, they wanna hold onto the pole, which adds to this. If it tilts them towards the pole, it closes the hips, and they never feel this hold here, okay? So when we go to the outside leg hang, and here, bring your hips all the way to the pole, up, Hook that leg, lift the chest, and then push arms back, okay? This arm can be wherever you want. This arm will probably feel more secure if it's back, and I want my hip bones pointing relatively square. If I open this hip, I start to slide. So let's look at that outside leg hang on spin. So if you're struggling with your outside leg hang, try looking at where your hips are. See if that makes a difference for you. Try that little training exercise from the floor and see how that feels. If you're still struggling and part of it is because you're not getting your hips all the way to the pole, a lot of people just strength-wise are still not quite there. And so their foot maybe gets to the pole, maybe, maybe barely their knee, but not their hips. Work on some conditioning drills. Work on just some tips. Here, just tips, okay? you're focusing on getting your hips to the pole and not that knee hook. Sometimes you have to take it one step back so you can take it two steps forward. So take a moment, look at your outside leg hang, see if these little modifications and tips help and let me know.